Hey, what's up guys? I'm here again today to talk about Dijkstra's algorithm, but this time we shall be implementing the entire algorithm in C++. Okay, so time to get our hands dirty. Let's start with our main function. Now, uh, let me take a global variable which indicates the number of vertices V and let's take a cost matrix of size 100 by 100 which will represent our graph. For this example, let me consider uh, this as my, our example graph and we'll take this input in the form of a cost matrix. Alright, now uh, it's a bad practice to actually uh, use global variables like this but because this is an algorithm video, I'll, I'll take this privilege. Alright, now let's take the input for uh, the number of vertices and for each of those vertices let's take the cost matrix input okay now, okay once we take the cost matrix we also take what is the source vertex all right so src is the source let me take a local variable source vertex and it's better if i keep consistent and make it a global variable. Alright, now once we have our graph as input, now this graph, its corresponding cost matrix representation is, I will paste the cost matrix representation here. So, alright, now this is the cost matrix representation. Let's consider this node, say its adjacent nodes are 2, 0 and 7, its adjacent nodes one node one has its adjacent nodes as zero two and seven all right so for these nodes the corresponding weights are shown uh, this is the cost metric representation and uh, for all non-adjacent nodes the cost matrix value is 999 which is uh, considered as infinity here okay so let's define infinity first define infinity as 990, 999. Alright, now we start by initializing a distance matrix for all the nodes. So, let us take distance array. Alright, so let us take a distance array because for uh, V number of nodes, we are storing the distance values for all those nodes with respect to the source node. Okay, so let us write a function for initializing those distance values. And for each of my vertex in V, I initialize the distance to infinity, which we have defined. Okay, so once we initialize all the dis distance values to infinity for all the nodes, and the source node gets a distance of 0, because 0 is the distance from itself. Okay, now once we are done with initializing, we start with the actual Dijkstra's algorithm. So, let us write the Dijkstra algorithm function. Now, this will run until we visit all the nodes. Okay, so if there are V number of nodes, we run our algorithm for V number of times. In fact, there is no need to run it for V, we can also run this for V minus 1 time because anyway the last node will be the uh, remaining node. This is a slight optimization, but still it is your choice. Anyway, now in each iteration of the algorithm, so these, these are the iterations and in each iteration we get the nearest unvisited node. Alright, so nearest unvisited node. Let us write a function for that. Get minimum distant node or get nearest node nearest node. Okay, now we shall write this function which returns, excuse me, this returns the nearest unvisited node. How does it return? It calculates the minimum value of distance and returns the corresponding node. So, let us start with minimum value of infinity here and a minimum value node let us assume it as 0 and let us pass through all our vertices and get their distances and see if 
the distance of that vertex is lesser than our minimum value and also we need to see if that node is already visited or not because we are uh, returning the nearest unvisited node so let's also keep track of the visited flags here in this array visited array and when we are initializing we initialize that all the nodes are not yet visited okay anyway global variables are initialized to zero okay so we check here if my node i is not visited not visited if my ith node is not visited and if its distance is less than the current minimum value we update the minimum value to the lesser distance and the corresponding minimum node to the ith node all right now once we are done with finding the minimum distance we return the corresponding node okay now here we will get the nearest unvisited node once we get the nearest unvisited node we mark it as visited all right now we mark it as visited once we mark it as visited we update the distances of all its adjacent nodes how do we do that see if we look at the cost matrix of uh, each and every node let's uh, for all the adjacent nodes the cost is not 999 okay for all the non adjacent nodes the cost is infinity okay so we can use this condition to get all our adjacent nodes all right now for adjacent node uh, okay we'll look at all the nodes and check if it is adjacent node okay now we check if the adj is my adjacent node to the nearest node all right now if cost matrix corresponding to nearest node is not infinity okay so if it's not infinity then that is an adjacent node and we also check if the already previous distance is already the minimum if the previous distance itself is minimum we will not update okay so if my previous distance for adjacent node is already less than the new distance what is the new distance the distance to reach the nearest node k plus uh, the cost of going from the nearest node to the adjacent node okay so if this condition is met let me write it in my the next line if both these conditions are met then i know i need to update the distance okay so we update the distance of adjacent node to this new node all right now okay the condition here is we check if my uh, new distance is the lesser distance if my new distance is the lesser distance then only I update okay so then only I set the distance of the adjacent node to the distance to reach the nearest node plus the cost of going there all right now uh, once we update the distances we need to keep track of the parent node uh, okay now let's take one more array where the index will represent the key for the node and its value will represent the parent okay let's take a parent array and while initializing let's initialize the parent array also so for each node i'll set the same node itself as its parent as we saw in the explanation video so if you haven't watched it you will get confused i strongly suggest you watch it all right uh now okay here we shall update the parent node so the parent of adjacent node we are taking the uh, index of this parent array as the key and its value will be the parent node okay so the parent of adjacent node is 
the nearest node that we have got here all right so this is the updation part uh, where we apply the Dijkstra's algorithms update uh, distance updation formula okay so this is the new distance that we are calculating and if only the new distance is lesser than the previous distance which is this distance if if my new distance which is specified by distance of nearest plus cost of going from nearest node to the distant node if this node distance is smaller then I update the uh, distance of adjacent node to this new distance all right hope that is clear if you guys are having still having doubts let me know in the comments so I can resolve it as soon as possible all right now these are the steps in the Dijkstra's algorithm hopefully I have coded it all okay so once we initialize and call our Dijkstra's algorithm our distance array and parent array should contain the shortest distance as corresponding to all the nodes from the source node okay so the to check whether it works or not let's display all the output in a nice little fashion all right now this is the display function here we just display all the nodes and their uh, least cost with respect to the source node and their corresponding paths and we traverse we look at all the nodes and print their distances and the node and its corresponding distance and its path so to get the path we go on looking at the continuously looking at the parent nodes and every time we uh, print the parent node and we do this until we reach the source node okay the source node will have the same value for its parent same value as the node value node number will be same and also its parent value all right now let's call this function here display function okay so let's run this algorithm the number of vertices in this graph is 9 and the cost matrix this is the cost matrix the source node is let's take this node number 1 as the source node so source node is 1 so this is the output from the Dijkstra's algorithm for node 1 the cost is 0 because this is the source node the path is the same node for node 2 since this is adjacent node we go to 2 directly with a cost of 8 okay so the path is 2 directly now for node 3 if you look at this graph its output is okay the node for node 3 cost is 15 we go from 1 3 to 2 and then to 1 okay so this is the path uh, that is obtained okay that's it for this video guys if you found the video useful please like and don't forget to subscribe as always see you guys next time